Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing two uh, parts in one video. I am going to do, be doing a full demo and review on these two amazing products from LA Girl, the new foundation and the new Pro Conceal product, um, as well as a full makeup look using all LA Girl products. Um, so if you would like to see the um, new products by LA Girl, and as well as a sneaky surprise if you shop at this game, then let's just get started. And now let's get into the review of this pro coverage high definition long wear illuminating foundation and I have it in the color 644 natural um, and it says medium to full coverage so I'm just going to squirt some on my hand two pumps I think this might look a bit much the consistency is quite runny so I'm just going to go in with my beauty blender and tap this my skin. Oh. Wow, this is seriously high high coverage. I actually think this color is one shade too dark for me. And Murphy's Law will have it that I decided not to buy the other product that goes with this, which is that white um I actually don't know the full name. Um, I'll have it for you over here. Um, that lightens your foundation for you if it's too dark. Murphy's Law would have it that I didn't buy it. But um, I think we could get away with this. Anyway, besides the color, this is amazing. I can't believe how high coverage this is, which I love. Okay, so that was two pumps, and I've done um 75 percent on my face so i think i'm going to need one more pump um this is honestly for the full coverage that it gives i cannot believe how lightweight it is um and it goes on so easily okay i'm using it with the beauty blender um honestly i am so impressed by this foundation it is like completely covered all my acne scars It is so lightweight it doesn't feel like I have anything on my face and the coverage is amazing as well as the application I'm really really impressed by this foundation I don't know if the camera's doing it as good a justice as it's doing but I'm really impressed I don't know if I so much need that whitener anymore um, it actually doesn't look so bad um, I can just bronze up my neck and it will just look like I have a bit of a tan. <laughs> okay, so this foundation, let's see what it says here. It says it's a liquid foundation and you must apply it with a brush or a sponge, which we did. Um, and yeah, I'm really impressed. It's definitely high definition. Um, I will let you know about the long wear, how long it lasts, but I can see already that this is going to be good unless I'm going to be highly disappointed but I doubt it um, it blends so well it feels so light it feels like I've got nothing on my face maybe just a little bit of cream um, and I really like this texture honestly I think it looks amazing right after that impressive product I am now going to try out the pro conceal high definition concealer but this is the white one and this one is apparently for highlighting. Um, I wanted to pick up the green and the purple, but they were out of stock because they obviously have just gone um, gone off the shelves so quickly. Um, but I'm really interested to see how this... Oh, yes, and it's, it says here in the color highlighter, which obviously... Okay, so I'll have to keep looking for those... Uh, purple and green products and maybe try them out in a different video, but let's see how this works I'm just gonna put it in the areas. Ooh, I would normally highlight um, Just under my eyes here, but on my cheekbones and my forehead Down my nose. Oh, I'm picking up a bit too much product here Right down my nose 
It's my Cupid's bow. I've stopped highlighting my forehead because I'm thinking it's looking like I've got an oily face. So I just stopped doing that. Okay, now, does this say how we apply it? No, it just gives us the ingredients. Okay, I'm going to try apply it with a beauty blender. Let's see what happens. Nah, it's a bit thick. Okay, rub your finger. It's my only problem that I have with cream highlighters and concealers. Is that sometimes it leaves a funny... Okay, now I've applied too much here. Sometimes it leaves a funny line if you apply too much like I have on my lip. Okay, let's just try and blend this out. Okay, I'm going to try and use my Real Techniques brush and just see. Yeah, you see that looks nice because then it's not such a streaky line. That looks a bit better. Okay, I prefer it with the brush. Don't put too much because we don't want to look white. We want to look highlighter-ish. Okay, there. It looks much better with the brush. Okay. So, Beauty Blender, foundation, brush, highlighter. I'm really impressed by this, actually. I think it gives you a fabulous glow and a good uh, cream base for that actual highlighter that you might want to use. Or if you're in a rush and don't have time to put a highlighter in you, just want to put this I think it's a really really nice um, product um, I don't feel like I'm glowing that much even though it may seem like it on camera in the mirror it just looks like a natural glow which I think is really nice for a natural makeup look I'm really impressed with these two products um, I have another LA Girl um, foundation that I really don't like um, it's very liquidy but they've definitely upped their game and this pro co coverage is amazing as well as this so um, I'm really excited to try out the other ones and they're so inexpensive plus Diskim is having a sale so if you purchase any two LA Girl products you get let me just get it you get this little baby free which is a gorgeous little cosmetic um, bag with cameras and pineapples and butterflies and sunglasses and bows and flowers so it's really the beauty fair disc came it's dangerous I went mad so yeah I would definitely definitely um, recommend these two products but while we're about it I'm just gonna finish off my face with some more LA girl products okay I'm gonna go in with this spice brick and I'm going to use the brown shade to warm up my cheeks okay, staying with the same brick I'm going to use oh I've hit pan majorly here I'm going to use this um, blush just to blush up my cheeks and then just the highlighter over The cream contour which is working so nicely check the base you can see it as you can now see the highlighter sitting so beautifully on that concealer highlighter whatever it's called this baby pro conceal highlighter um, yeah I think it's really sitting right now onto the eyes with my favorite palette of all time this LA Girl Nudes and I'm just going to give my eyes some beautiful sparkles. And then for lips, I'm going to go in with this matte flat velvet lipstick. It's in a pinky shade and I cannot tell you what it's called because it has rubbed off. I'm sorry, I will try and find the name and link it for you. Um, so I'm just going to put that on my lips. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. 
as always and if you hadn't hit haven't hit that subscribe button please do so um thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye